Hello fans and happy new year, now I think you've expected a Sinjo video by now, but honestly I have an issue, every time I start to record some footage from Sinjo 2 the PC that I have keeps crashing, I mean it freezes, then I have to, you know, reboot it and this keeps happening over and over again, so I just can't do any Sinjo videos at this moment. But anyway, what I want to talk about today is Beyond Good and Evil 2, which is a great title that many people are waiting for. So basically, I found this article that pretty much confirms everything we need to know about what happened to it and what is going to happen and why it didn't appear in, at the E3 in 2019. And maybe, just a little maybe, we might see Beyond Good and Evil 2 by the end of 2020 playable on the PS4, Xbox One and PC. Now, uh, I've, been, uh, I've been waiting a long time for the sequel to Beyond Good and Evil, the action-adventure classic that originally released in 2003. But after many delays, Ubisoft finally announced at E3 2017 that a prequel was in the works, Beyond Good and Evil 2. While the prospect of a new Beyond Good and Evil game has seemed shaky for almost a decade, Ubisoft's cinematic trailer from E3 2018 suggests it was definitely worth the wait. However, Beyond Good and Evil Beyond the announcement, we haven't heard much in the way of a solid detail about Beyond Good and Evil 2. How will it differ from the original? What they will be the same? How will the online multiplayer work? And what has Joseph Gordon Levitt got to do with it? Now, I've gathered up all the news, rumors, and confirmed that it is running Beyond Good and Evil 2 below for your personal. Now, of course, cut to the chase, you know? What it is, it's an open universal, it's an open universe sci fi action RPG. What can I play it on? Nothing is official, but likely the PS4, Xbox One, and the PC. And when can I play it on? Probably by the late 2020. Now, in June of 2019, we got some updates. Though Beyond Good and Evil 2 made no appearance at E3 2019, there was still a live stream in June from the development team. In this stream, the team dished out some new gameplay details and, uh, and some concept art. It was explained that in the game everyone in System 3 is a clone while hybrids are made by crossing the DNA of humans and animals. Some of these hybrids are used as slaves in the mining and collection of valuable and dangerous mineral called Dewelto. Dewelit, I think that's how you pronounce it. You the player will be a space pirate and you'll be able to choose whether you are a human or a hybrid. You, you'll also be able to rescue these slaves hybrids and recruit them to your crew. Overall though, the game will give you plenty of freedom to craft your own story. Overall though, the game will give you plenty of freedom to craft your own story. Now, as we covered that before, it won't be at E3 2019, Ubisoft has confirmed that Beyond Good and Evil 2 will not be making an appearance at E3 2019, which it did not, of course. However, there will be a special Beyond Two and Evil 2 stream on June 5, which promises to update fans on the game's progression, and that did happen in the June 5th. Now, Joseph Gordon Levitt. The reveal trail at E3 2018 also clued us into a collaboration with Joseph Gordon Levitt, hit record company to produce user generated content that will make it into the final game. People around the world will be able to contribute all sorts of content with hopes of making it into the final product. And now let's talk a bit about the E3 of 2018. At the E3 2018 brought us some more news about Beyond Good and Evil 2 and we attended a behind closed door demo of the game. We now know that the game will be a prequel to the original with a younger Jade taking up the role of an antagonist. Players will be able to play cooperatively in the open world and they won't even have to remain near each other at all. You'll be able to create your own space pirate and explore the universe in your very own spaceship. From what we've seen of the game so far, the game world is astonishingly large and utterly seamless and you can move from city streets to sky to space to outer space without any loud screens at all. From the off, you'll have a melee weapon, a gun, a shield, and a jetpack. Weapons can be modified with interesting arguments. A key item in the game will be a cool spyglass, which players can use to assist situations before going into them. However, varying over an enemy will tell you more about them, what arguments they're using, and their abilities. It certainly makes planning an attack a lot more smooth. You can also use it 
you can also use it to scan buildings and ashes what they will do and whether they might be able to there might be any use in setting your eyes on them for robbery the development live stream a development live stream for beyond good and evil 2 showcased some gameplay footage which showed some melee staff combat and ship maneuvering would work out of these it also confirmed that players will be using the, their very own custom characters and the story will have a new information on beyond good and evil's jade Dom Z and the origin of the human animal hybrids. Michael Ansel has said that the game will be playable online, which falls in line with Ubisoft's shift towards securing long term player engagement from its games. At the moment, it's still not very clear how online play will actually work. It could be a separate mode which, with, with individual matches, or it could work more like Fall Cry 5, which allows players to go through an through the eternity of the main game with a friend. Also, the game will have extensive exploration. Furthermore, exploration will apparently be a big theme and you'll be able to fly from a planet in space seemingly without loading times, as I said before. Much like in No Man's Skies, which was a flop. But they kind of fixed it somehow, so yeah, that's cool. There will also be spaceships of varying sizes, including vast ones that can hold smaller ones within. Ansel also talks a bit about the world in which these characters exist, with the social structure seemingly keeping the, these hybrid creatures down, along with the, comp with the vile treat and slavery, who's just that the crew you will see in the gather ship, comprised of varying hybrids and humans of different origins, showcase the diverse message that the game hopes to be hopes to convey despite the ugliness in the world. It's called exactly the heart of Beyond Good and Evil 2, he explains. And people ask that, will there be a beta? Now, they kind of told us that they're real. Ubisoft confirmed this during the E3 in 2018 that Beyond Good and Evil, that Beyond Good and Evil 2 will have a beta and it's possible to sign up for it now. However, don't be aware that it's not expected that the beta will be live and playable until the end of the next year. It's likely that more will be revealed at the E3 of maybe 2020. And lastly, talking about the release date, it's not for sure known when it's gonna be released. I mean, it didn't appear at the E3 of 2019, but we do hope that it will be at E3 of 2020. But this is just pure speculation right now about the release date, because that thing is not for sure from the developers. It's still indeed in the works, and it's gonna be very well polished and very well developed, but the release date is not yet known. With the PlayStation 5 and Xbox Series X coming the holiday of 2020, I think that the game maybe will be pushed to the end of 2020 for release or maybe to early 2021 and I do hope that it will be for the PlayStation 4 and Xbox One first then on the PC on the PlayStation 5 and the uh, you know Xbox Series X but of course this is just per speculation so I think I don't think it's very worthy to say that it will be released in 2020 because we don't have solid information regarding that get my idea so yeah basically we don't know yet when it's gonna be released but it's gonna be released for sure because it's been in development for a very long time and it's just about you know getting things polished and finished to be released and to be playable you know without any bugs or crashes or fatal errors so yes this is everything i have to say regarding the release date and this is some of the informations that i could gather for you guys I do not want to make this video too long and talk about every bit of this article and get my own twist on it, but I do hope that it's been an enjoyable video for you guys, happy new year again, and what I want you to tell me is how can I fix my PC freezing, if you can please leave a comment, I've tried a lot of YouTube videos and it doesn't work out, it will be very helpful from you to tell me how can I fix this and uh, yeah I would I would love to make another Saints Row video and I have a lot of projects regarding Saints Row for this year but I just can't record any Saints Row 2 gameplay it just keeps crashing and freezing so what I want to say is please help me out and if you enjoyed this video make sure to leave a like if you're new to the channel subscribe and keep the notifications on so you're officially subscribed because why would you be subscribed if you didn't turn on the notification that's just uh, not being a subscriber a part of the fam so make sure to, you know, leave the notifications on and I'll see you at my other videos. And as always, have a good one, fans.
sweets But miss the clutch These Romanian trees For the system's touch Whoa Look at his finest Your highness German president Your highness Wait, I'm here to slay The demons that harness Tarnas Join us The time is upon us Lost the game Just hold my PS I do it for my soul So with the BS Me and Rev Don't show who's me as on The whole game is off Use me as on